Geneva voters agree to $25 minimum hourly wage. Here's a summary of the article. Geneva voted in favor of a minimum hourly wage of 23 francs, the latest effort in Switzerland to ensure people are able to live decently from their salary. Nearly 58% of voters in the canton, or state, backed the measure designed to combat poverty and respect human dignity, according to data published on the government's website. More than 300,000 people commute from France to work in the Switzerland each day, with the biggest contingent in the Lake Geneva region. The cost of living in Switzerland is high, and cross-border commuters sometimes get blamed for undercutting locals on wages. Sunday's vote comes six years after Switzerland decided against a national minimum wage of 22 francs. The cantons of Nucatel and Jura also have a legal floor. This post received a score of 37,000, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Just so you can compare, here the average monthly wage for a few professions in Switzerland, teacher 8th grad, $8,200 programmer, $6,600 carpenter, $5,500 nurse, $5,200 cook, $4,800 gardener, $4,700 farmer, $4,600 retail worker, $4,400 hairdresser, $4,000 also, here you have to go to school for 9 years, after which two-thirds of people learn a trade, which takes three to four years in most cases. Only the teacher example requires a master's degree, all others are trades that don't require to go to university. Edit 2. Since the topic of taxes comes up a lot, this is what I get. Pay here in Switzerland, 8,230 gross income monthly minus 435 old age and survivors insurance minus 90 unemployment insurance minus 70 accident insurance minus 20 paid sick days minus 465 pension fund 7,150 net income minus 1,000 taxes minus 300 health insurance 5,850 at the end of the month for everything else. That means taxes and all compulsory insurances are about 30% of my pay. This is very interesting. Is this the monthly wage before or after taxes? Before. How much is AVG rent, home monthly? $1,500 to $3,000 for one person in the cities, a little lower in smaller towns. I think it's also worth mentioning that you can live outside the city and pay on the lower bounds, I would even go as far as $1,000, and still have approximately 30 minutes top commute time using public transportation. Switzerland is expensive though. They're the highest ranking on the Big Mac Index. Edit. Screenshot of the first part of the list, because paywall, second part of list, final part of list. $470 annual paywall to even read this. Am I confused or is that fucking insane? Weird. I didn't get a paywall when I googled it, but now I'm getting a paywall too. Anyways, you can still read that it's $6.91 for a Big Mac in Switzerland. There was a graph with other countries too and Switzerland was apparently the most expensive one. US was fourth I believe. That's not much higher than where I'm from, tbh. Fast food has gotten expensive lately. Not uncommon to see combo meals go for over $10. Yay when I eat at fast food places I stick exclusively to the dollar menu nowadays. You can get two cheeseburgers and two McChickens for cheaper than a Big Mac meal. And the, high-end, fast food places, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, etc. are easily $10 for a meal. Chipotle is like 15 plus bucks where I'm from but I'm in Canada and our dollar is mere. Are you getting guac? No, guac is extra. Or about 23 Swiss francs. Exactly 23 Swiss francs, they are not paid in USD. What in the lily-livered tarnation? How are these fine people supposed to support their families if they're being paid in funny money? What in Sam Hell is CHF? Why aren't they paid in American money or as I like to call it, Eagle Dollars? Huh? I better call my congressman about this, it ain't right. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention. 